Okay, hello. Testing one two, testing one two. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, Flame Wolf. I had to um and <laughs> I had to briefly like end my stream real quick because I had to uh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I was like, hey, do I wanna? How do I dare? How do I dare ignore your call? I, I thought you did on accident. Also, I was in the middle of fixing something when you called. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was gonna call back, but then uh, I got wrapped up in stuff. A anyways, I was um, yeah, you. S I, I was initially not going to cover my UID, but then I'm like, well, this is my main account, so I kind of maybe I should. <laughs> So I, 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 I am covering it up. Or at least I think I am. Please tell me I covered it up properly. Please tell me I covered it up properly. Oh, okay, I did. <laughs> no, Nib! We have someone who wants to rematch you! Eh? Oh yeah, that's right, I got this stuff. I haven't found a chat border that I, uh, I've, um... ...wanted to stick on yet. What sort of things... ...am I doing? I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> 22 ghost hunts. Oh, there's a lot of these he Heliobus things. Uh... Oh, I'm checking it, uh, my stuff out for now. Uh, Nev, please don't go away. <coughs> you see this right here? Please play in moderation and spend rationally. Half the people who play this game probably doesn't. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll be honest with you, I don't really, I, I tend to play this on mobile. So I don't know all the buttons. Map. There we go. At least the map button's intuitive. <laughs> Oh yeah, I gotta go to Fix Stroll Garden. Uh, just so you know, if you don't want any, like, spoilers for the, uh... This? Back out now. <laughs> but I'm gonna be doing some of this. <laughs> no! No, he's gone. Nev, we've got a bot. Nev. Okay, then I guess I'm doing it. <laughs> Thank you. Will of preservation. Oops, wrong button. You're traumatized. Huh?
What? Why are you traumatized? Is did the bot scare you? <sighs> it's getting late. Where to now? Oh. The General received an official letter from the Ten Lords Commission and left the Sea of Divine Foresight in a hurry. I read the list of arch enemies. Figure the Celia Bus would be a good opponent to sharpen your sword skills? Um, this is awkward. Pathfinder! Nev! Nev! There's Pathfinder! There's Pathfinder! Look, 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 look! There's Pathfinder! No, Nev, I was gonna call you back, but then I got sidetracked! Also, look, Pathfinder! Look! Yeah! <laughs> it's a puzzle game that originates for the Law Food Divination Commission. Riddle ghost. Uh, okay. Test ghost, you're mean. Although... Battle of Minds? <laughs> you think he uses sword is fair? Okay, here we go! You guys can participate in this too if you want. Enter movement direction commands for Ingenia ahead of time to guide them to leave the maze in a set number of moves. Each Ingenium will proceed along the determined direction until the very end where it can encounters an obstacle and awaits the next command. Seriously? Um... I, I just press these, right? Why is it? Eh? Am I just dumb?
Yeah, it says enter. Uh, what? What? Only four commands? Oh, now it does it? Oh, it just goes full over? Oh, it reminds me of all that computer science classes. Wait a second, I think it'd be more simple if we go this way. Because it, it goes full over. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you used all your talents just for that. Or you, sore loser? <laughs> trust me, it was hard. No, it it wasn't. I just had to figure it out. You sore loser. So after all that, still ends in a fight. <laughs> Oh, thank you for oh so graciously giving me my ult. Make him pay. You're gonna relax for a bit? Cool, cool. Enjoy your relaxation, my dude. Thank you. So you are afraid of me. Happy lurking. I have Sila. How cool is that? Uh, who's got it? You've got it. Ow. <laughs> Can any of you guys guess who is my favorite character in Honkai Star Rail? Ah, you're all dead. People like you with minds but no manners. What use is solving riddles anyways? You remember this. Don't even know the characters, it's okay. I mean, you can just like describe them. Can I leave these victims unattended? I shall escort them to apothecary when we meet again. To head back and seal the heliobus in the suppression tower. <laughs> I'm so confused, but hello. <laughs> Wait a second. 
same name seems familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? Okay, who who is texting me to death? What's going on? Going on. Your, your usual Twitch surfing, you detox from stuff. Fair enough, my dude. Welcome in. We're just kind of chilling in Honkai Star Rail today and doing some of the fixed garden stuff and ghost something. No, not me. I'm off limits. <laughs> uh. Weird bug with bugs and swan as you. Oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, it's bugging me that there's all these exclamation marks. I mean, granted, I, I, I'm no person, with, I, I'm, I don't have OCD, but it's just like, I don't know, I like, I like keeping a clean interface. <laughs> Light cone rewards. I like the art. <laughs> so other than detoxing from stuff, what other things have you been up to? Hopefully... Hopefully you know, whatever you've been dealing with wasn't too bad. As for me today, um, I've been figuring out character stuff. I, I'm not entirely sure, but I, somehow my friend got me into the, uh, got, uh, like, persuaded me <laughs> into the idea of possibly writing a story. And mind you, I, I'm usually, like, quite daunted by that stuff. Because, like, every time I, I, I try to write a story, I just end up, like, giving up halfway through. <laughs> and... You know, I don't feel like I could be a good writer, to be perfectly honest. But, who, who knows? I mean, my friend's more experienced in, um, writing stories than I am. So, I think, as long as I've got them by my side, maybe I might survive trying to write a story. <laughs> Eh? Why, why are you looking for me? You're a spirit fairer, guardian spirit of the Ten Lords Commission. Been waiting here for a long time. Assist in locking the Helio Bai and the Evil Binding Matrix Perching Tower. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna choose to be nice. Oh. When you're going for his uh, enhancement skill. The dash isn't starting. The fight with bugs. Keep shoulder bashing them until the skill runs out. Oh no. Yeah, I, ho I hope that bug's definitely uh, been reported. Because, um... I mean, as far as far as I know, I think the Honkai Star Rail dev teams actually, uh, they actually do kind of listen to their community, and try to be tentative to bugs. Happened Monday with big boss bug. Happened with a small one. Oh yikes. I don't think I've really noticed that bug for, uh, personally. Because one, I don't use um, Imbiber Lune like a ridiculous amount. I, mean, I do use him, just not to the extent I would like Sila. <laughs> and uh, what's the other thing? I don't know, my brain's drawing a blank. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, let's see. Breaking news. The real chess ghost they don't want you to know. Futures Esports Digital Reality is here to stay. Melt your heart, no. No, I think this fits more like breaking news. Publish. When I first saw the post, I thought it was some kind of evil spirit that had possessed an ancient chessboard. Unwilling to ascend to heaven until all it played a perfect chess game with a long sought master stroke. I, I feel like the dev team made a joke here. Relation <laughs> is so bad. Like, extra bad over that. But Failing to finish the last Difficulty 5. Sw oh, the Swarm Universe. Yeah, Swarm Universe is actually kind of difficult. I don't think I've used Elation 2 too much. I mean, I haven't had too much trouble with Elation, but yeah, there's definitely um, better ones. Like, uh, I'd say I like Preservation better. Just because of the things that you can do with those cornerstones and it like really adds up the shield stuff shield bonuses and especially for someone like me who is a, a tried and true japard enjoyer <laughs> I, I i really like japard <laughs> yeah i have him at e2 and i i've really worked on his uh defense and stuff you don't have much in terms of follow-up attackers yeah uh i feel you I'd say the only, like, follow-up attacker that I actually have is Topaz. That's it. And she was kind of a happy accident. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind her, though. She's actually not that bad. She's really good at, like, breaking, um, through toughness, you know, like, the weaknesses and stuff. She's pretty good with that. But yeah, I, I don't have, like... I mean, I, I don't have... Herda built. You don't have invested follow-up attackers. Yeah, the only one that's like somewhat invested is Topaz. That that's the one I have uh, that's somewhat invested. But I I don't I am not invested at all in Herda. I don't have Himiko. <laughs> I don't have Kafka on this account. So yeah, I've only got like one. <laughs> that that's like fully functional so I, I i i i get what you mean really uh does Sealy even count she tends to get her extra turns which i don't even know if that really counts as like follow-up attacks it, it doesn't specify Yeah, his, his uh, Yan Ching's uh, follow up is definitely a coin flip. I, I mean, I do have him too, and he's like partially built, but I don't really use him. In fact, I think I gutted his um, build because, eh, just not really interested in using Yan Ching. Ah, that's another hunt done. Exorcismics might be obtained when new heliobi becomes sealed in suppression towers. Okay. Yeah, we are suppressing demons. They're they're not actually ghosts. They look like ghosts, but they're more aptly classified as demons, apparently. Uh, done conveying Judge Wohol's message. You shall take your leave. Okay. Suppression Tower. Part of Fixtral Garden's evil binding matrix. It's a containment receptacle used to restrain Heliobi. Uh, wait, I've got to challenge it? What? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. There's like a whole bunch of like classification with these, but 
um, the spirit fairer said demons as in D-E-M-O-N-S. Like that. Chronicle, exorcismal chronicle challenges. Refine the fiend fire. Okay. Let's see, I've got imaginary, I've got some wind. Time and enemy takes action, blah, 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 blah. We've got some fire to deal with. Ice to deal with her. You're farming skill mats for your characters? Oh, cool. I, I, I kind of do that too. It, it, it depends on what I'm feeling for the day. Like some days I'm farming relics. Some days it's um, mats. It, it just depends. Oh, you're, you're going to go for Argenti? Wait, I hope I said it right. I did it! You're not even hiding it, are you? <laughs> Me, personally, I'm saving it up for uh, Dr. Ratio. Because <laughs> that name is just too funny. And imagine, imagine just like literally getting Ratio. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I gotta select ex Exorcismics. I have to admit, uh, my, my Enviro Lune is not well built, he's just functional. <laughs> Although, I, I definitely worked on his, uh, traces. Oh yeah, what, what is Argenti like? Has there been leaks? I mean, I haven't really been paying attention, to be honest. Ow, how dare you. Okay, let's sh- I it need to shield. Yeah, he's a knight, I know that. He's a- he's a knight of beauty, if I'm not mistaken. But as for, like, the path and how he functions, I don't really know about that. Yeah, let's let him taste the fury of dragons. Take more than okay, we need you back online, please. Nice Thank you. you. Physical air addition with focus on it having his, his burst with charges. What, like different levels of his burst or something? Like a level 1 burst, level 2 burst, etc. Because I don't think we've had that yet. It actually sounds interesting. Like, I mean, we've got... We've got Enviro Lune who has the, uh... You know, when he uses a burst, you get, like... Stacks for his basic, but... His max energy is 180. And spend 90 to... Excuse me. So you can technically have two charges on his burst? Dude, that sounds nuts. Like seriously, like imagining like a, a double burst. That's why a thousand cuts or big damage. Let's spend all the points. Make them taste our fury. That'll take more than medicine. Man, I can do this. Oh, everyone's shields are starting to fade out. Time to refresh. Yeah, that does sound insane. And be honest, 
does... I, I don't think physical really gets all that much love, does it? I'm probably not going to be able to do this efficiently. That'll take more than medicine. Next time. Maybe I need a different team comp. Like, I'm pretty good at surviving, but like... Like, getting this done? Times have changed. Let him have it! Aha! Eat this. Hey. Oh, right! I recently got Clara. Well, actually, a couple weeks ago. Gratuity points. Level 85? I wonder I'm not hitting them all that hard. Well, that explains a lot. Exorcism rewards. Oh. I do have Sushong and Luka. I just don't really have them built, built. <laughs> there was a dog on my blanket, but no. <laughs> yeah, a little bit hungry. I should finish my soup. You have Luca built for the crits. <laughs> nice. Boxers punch, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do. My pride and joy is personally my Japard with almost 4.3k defense and Sila. <laughs> Those are uh, my pride and joy. Of course, I have, I've got, um, Preservation MC, like, mostly built. Oh, I, I had him on, um, this stuff to help with, um, breaking. But I haven't fixed, uh, put it back. <laughs> I need to finish your traces. It's, I'm almost done, though. Things like I recently got Clara. I leveled her like crazy. Still need to do traces, relics. I need to work on a bit. I need to work on Sampo to be honest. I've noticed that a lot of people like to use him when I have him out of support, but I don't want him to fall behind, you know. And I finally managed to somewhat build Tingyun so I could use her. I need to finish building Lynx because I went through so much trouble just to get her. And I'm having regrets. <laughs> like tarot cards? Yeah, true. I really thought about it that way. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, I know, don't forget stuff. Okay, so I wasn't going crazy. There was a dog underneath my desk. <laughs> I 
Yeah, 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 just let me claim the stuff. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Luke has an Hillary character, but... I, I you know, I actually find Luke a bit interesting, because there's more to him than meets the eye, like... I, I mean, I'm sure if you've gone through the quest lines, you know what I mean. But he, he may be, like, all cheery and stuff, but there's, like, deep reasons behind a lot of what he does. Even though, like, seemingly, like, those actions don't have rhyme or reason to them. Luca is pretty much an answer to conclusion you can reach when you gaze into the abyss. Yeah, he did have a brush with death, and... Did he not? Pretty sure he did, yeah. Like he lost an arm. <laughs> Life is finite, so make the most of it. Bring a smile to those around. Mm hmm. Phantom Star Skip, an earthly spirit that never rests. I find it interesting that Sampo's Nihility, even though... Wait, should I spoil it? Well, spoilers. He's a mask fool. <laughs> he, f he follows the elation. Makes, makes me wonder, like... You know, the similarities and differences between elation and Nihility. Maybe... It's like life is so pathetic and you just ought to laugh at it or something. <laughs> then a brand version of, uh, what is it, Vi? How most people pronounce that? I mean, he kind of does. I mean, there's like some resemblance. Let's see, more courageous work worked boarded the Starsk. What? Wailing Parrot Goblin. What even is that? We've got three people who are terrified of ghosts in Heliobus. Heliobi? I don't know. Only mystery was the deck that was covered in blood. This is if there was a rough battle before. Okay, that is weird. Catalyst luck. Whoa! Lucky you! Usually I don't pull pull for uh, signature light cones. Like, I tend to have enough save for um, getting the character or at least trying to. I think right now, though, I'm, like, seeing around, like, 50-some pity. And I got ho ho on, um, one of my other accounts, so I, I don't have to pull for her on this one. I mean, I want to because she charmed me. <laughs> I, I really like how she is, but I gotta stay strong. You're so bored, so you went for it. <laughs> Breath of Fire 4 opening. I feel like I missed a memo. I know life, how are you? Burns you, what? Niv, I'm confused. Not good, but not bad. I mean, hey, an okay, it's okay to have an okay day. I'll be honest with you. Better than being bad. Somewhere in between. That's fine. Ah, oh, lovely. We've got the case of missing workers in a rogue star skiff. There's a follow-up story. See, someone witnessed the ghost ship.
As long as we don't board the star skiff. <laughs> A little let, let's go. Good ghost hunting squad move out. <laughs> Moon and paler skiff. Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, Niv. <laughs> eh? Really, Automod? Really? I'm sorry, my Automod doesn't tend to like that. <laughs> it's a shame that Capcom dropped something. Usually their stuff is pretty good. You're passionate about Breath of Fire. Hey, it's good to be passionate about something. I have no idea what it is, but I'm ha I'm happy like you <laughs> I'm happy that you're happy about it. And I like sharing that uh, in that passion. I should investigate it. I <laughs> can have the mildest of mild insults. We're gonna be searching together. Ah! Die! I'm on guard. So you are afraid of me. I didn't. I didn't dispel the debuff. That's sad. Oh well. How dare you. At least I stopped them from hurting Jeppy. <laughs> Suffer my wrath! Unga bunga! Let's do it, Sila! <laughs> I love going unga bunga with her. Oh, was killing them unnecessary? The fate of those who fall in love with niche franchises. Yeah. Things you from your childhood you end up loving, but they end up fading into obscurity. That's another thing that makes me sad too. Hi. No, you're not getting the ambush on me. I'm getting this. I was too slow on the trigger. If you're fast enough, you can actually prevent that damage. Hmm. You can brought those days good. So you are afraid of me. He'll tell you though. Take more the chicken broth at the hospital I once worked at was absolutely trash. You know how I know? It's because I tried it once. <laughs> it's absolutely awful, but those who 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 are limited with like what they can eat unfortunately get stuck with that <laughs> Don't mess with me. but you get what you get i guess very answered with chicken broth in the hospital <laughs> i'm just going on a rambling at this rate Don't lose momentum. Oh, I thought there was enough stacks of that. I guess never mind. This ends here. Oh yeah. So you are My brain I I don't know if you can tell or not, but I do have some ADHD. I, I tend to let the conversation go all over the place. 
Anyways, what else was I gonna talk about? <laughs> yeah, I talked about how trash the chicken broth is at the hospital that's near my area. <laughs> <laughs> Your real food, please. <laughs> yes. Not all hosp hospital food's good. Uh, the cafeteria food was mostly good for the, for the most part. It's just the chicken broth it, is trash. <laughs> it's the chicken broth that we... Uh, I, I used to work in like food service at the hospital once. And um, yeah, we had to put together like meals and stuff and deliver them to patients and stuff. And yeah, that's how I ended up finding out that chicken broth wasn't that great. <laughs> chicken noth? <laughs> yeah, if you want good chicken broth, Campbell's soup, my dude. They know what they're doing. I like the saltiness of um, chicken broth. But, like, the hospital chicken broth? Just imagine pouring a packet of, like, probably, like, what, ground-down uh, chicken bouillon or something? And then mixing it with water. Yeah, it's not that great. <laughs> I feel like I'm directionally challenged. <laughs> I, I, I'm not, but... Uh, let's, let's go this way. Oh, there it is. Oh, wait. Vila, let's get him. I I'm not too bad with directions, but... I... Unless I know what, what I'm specifically looking for, I can be a little bit blind. <laughs> Next. I, I, can, I guess that means I'm a little bit literal. Dude, if I, someone ever gives you an address, just G, put it into the GPS. Unless you know the area, GPS is your best friend. <laughs> That's how I usually do it. Unga bunga! You didn't have such luck when you're younger. Uh, I'm on guard. True, not everyone gets that luxury. So you gotta figure out stuff yourself. Re that's the reason why you fear taking buses to go to different places? Fair enough, dude. Tell you what, I wouldn't- I wouldn't even think about Hopping onto the bus unless I did prior research. Like if I, I'm taking a bus in an unfamiliar area, I'm gonna make sure that I know where I'm going. Yeah, I, I know how you feel. Yeah, I mean, you're you're gonna be confident in places you've been to already because y you've already got that knowledge, and it's easier to visualize the route because you've been through there. But like, whenever like something interrupts that familiar pattern, it does throw you off a little bit. Oh, it's Chingni. Oh, 
Oh, lovely. We have Chingy acting on her own. <laughs> Madam Helm Master won't allow me to track down anything like a Phantom Star Skiff. Uh huh. She doesn't allow the others to investigate it either. It's just some supernatural stuff and it's a waste of time to discuss it. But you saw the post online. That's why you thought of coming here to try and find it? Disappeared. G G Gwyn! Did we not previously establish that we are not getting on that star skiff? You've got to be kidding me. She has a death wish. Oh. Oh, so Madam Yukong got. Got, got. <laughs> yeah, we'll handle it for you, like Ho Ho said. Skyfaring Commission uniform. Okay. Palace of Astrum. Official location where we receive guests from other Zansho ships. You didn't exercise demons, but please do not make a ruckus there. Ask Madame Yukon to come out alone. How are we going to manage that? <sighs> That's just lovely. Let's take it in turns. You rest. I'll stand guard. You feel comfortable with your characters around the sevens in terms of skill levels? Oh, like the traces? Yeah, go for it, my dude. <laughs> Don't be scared, she's the one who broke her own rules. Okay. Let's hope this does not go poorly. Uh, it's been a hot minute since I've been in here. Ding you on? Ten stacks under. <laughs> I do like uh, Alejandro Saab's uh, voice work. He did a good job. Did you be any less discreet? Win? Really? Kind of crazy you voice three characters related to Thunder Lightning. Yeah, Sino, Jing Yuan, Akihiko. Yeah, that's right. Unfortunately, I won't have enough money for Persona 3 reload. Uh. Ugh, alas, being poor. Even like with the like, you know, the the Black Friday sales that have been going on. Like, I, 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 I'm that poor. I can't even get stuff even when it's on sale. Uh... 
um, Persona 5 P3 edition. Huh. I know some of my friends are, uh, very hyped for it because, you know, they're diehard Persona fans, so. Yeah, we'll wait and see. Okay, Madame Yukong is being sus. Don't you just love it? <laughs> you, you can't stomach the game anymore? Fair enough, dude. Yeah, Persona 5, good. Persona 5 Royal, even better, yes. I would say Persona 5 Strikers is okay. But I think they're going a little too far with, um... I, I don't know, I just feel like Tactica is a little bit unnecessary. I, I just feel like... I don't know. I'm just ready for something different, you know? Something different from the <laughs> Persona 5 people. But hey, I'm not the one in charge. <laughs> It wasn't in such a short span of time. True. Yeah, I'd say if you're gonna be, like, focusing on, like, a certain persona, it's better to, like, just space it out, you know? Before Arena Ultimax is kind of nice. And, and Golden's good, too. Oh. Okay, so Madam Yukong's not, uh, possessed, apparently? Okay. Persona 6 or a new Shin Megami Tensei. Yeah, so I hear from, like, so many, like, various people online that Shin Megami Tensei, like, the franchise is, like, really good. And I've seen, uh, bits and pieces, too, like, gameplay-wise. I've never personally played it, or necessarily got the chance to, but... I mean, it's got me curious. It's kind of the Dark Souls of JRPG. Oh, now that's interesting. either click with how it works or you see the game over screen rather often. Well, thankfully, I, I'm a bit experienced with uh, RPGs. Like, I've played a lot of, like, RPGs, like, throughout my life. <laughs> and I am acquainted with JRPGs as well. A little bit. Like, Octopath Traveler is, like, my main one that I... Uh, I'd say, like, I, I have, like, JRPG experience from. Would you consider Pokemon JRPG? I mean, it, it is from a Japanese company. And it is like RPG, kind of. I don't know. <laughs> I just generally know how to group them together. Nice! A fellow RPG enjoyer!
Okay. I've seen some Final Fantasy, like, um, one of my buddies is diehard Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts fan. I think I do have Persona 4 Golden, I just haven't played it yet. I've entered Final Fantasy XIV copy pasta. <laughs> Of course, we're dealing with someone who has imaginary stuff going on. At least we got someone who can dispel the thing. I'll free you from your chain. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. That'll take me now. Come on, let me have it. Let me have it. No. Oh yeah, is Final Final Fantasy XIV is like the latest one, right? I've seen bits and pieces about it, and it looks so good. I love what they did with it. I can try and avoid spoilers, but at this rate, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to get it. <laughs> Final Fantasy XVI is the latest. Okay. Final Fantasy fourteen is the second MMO. Okay. You have my gratitude. I'm on guard. This ends here. There we go, we got him. Phantom Star Skip is a manifestation of people's thoughts by the Heliobus. It travels unpredictably on the Zianjo, following the sorrowful thoughts of those who mourn. Oh, yikes. When someone with a broken heart comes to Foxum Tomb, it would come and meet them in the guise of ones who pa had passed away. as hearkening to the inner cries of their friend. It will respond to those unfulfilled promises of reunion. Many people have come here to commemorate the fallen pilots. Kai. Oh. Countless times, the ruminous days. Back then, we told each other everything. We understood each other without needing words as we flew. And we fought passionately side by side. I even entombed the airship fragments from that great war here. I didn't expect that. As time went on. My thoughts were it would take the form of a star skiff and actually fly back to me. You haven't been to Foxum Tomb for a long time, but your sadness only grows ever greater. I had to come and find you. I thought I'd gotten used to not thinking of you, but when I boarded the star skiff and saw you again, I remember those bygone days, and was reduced to a foxy girl once more. 
A little kit who could do nothing but cry. I can taste your salty tears. You have never stopped crying in your heart. Do I want to be comforting here, or do I want to be realist? Uh. Okay. He took that well. Ching-Ni is doing very well, yep. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't fulfill my promise to you. Ching-Ni will become a pilot as she chose for herself. You will become a pilot as marvelous as you are. Will you ever touch the sky again? Your group captures a masterless healer by. Do you think a daughter can hide anything from her mother? Huh? <laughs> Adam Yukong. There goes another one. What? Come back! What? What is that thing doing here? It was a possessed, like, uh, warp trotter. <laughs> I am your retribution! Uh. <laughs> There's more ghosts around here. Okay, this place is getting weirder and weirder. Got it! to tour around the Lafu this time, and it was really disappointing. I thought it was fine. The Lafu is always a busy place filled with people and merchants. I quite like it here. There. <laughs> Feel so exhausted now, huh? The air reeks of money. Boy, such deprivation. Not long ago, I heard the people saying that there's an incredible pawn shop. In an alley that buys anything. Really? Can I pawn off love? <laughs> First be the Brazilian weather, it's spring. Or you can have f all four seasons in one day? Oh, that sounds fun. <laughs> Would you like it perpetually cold here? <laughs> like it is here? I mean, it's not perpetually cold, but like, considering the fact that it's like, December now. You love the cold. Then you might like in uh, northern United States then. <laughs> I know some of the northern states it can get pretty cold like uh, Minnesota. I I'd say Maine as well. Easier to sleep, easier to do stuff. You good. Yeah, true. I mean, you got you got to burn energy to stay warm and you got to eat well so you have the energy. <laughs> Yell sweating, you hate it. Fair enough, dude. I, I tend to like summer for the fact that I can do more things. I I, I feel like I have a love hate relationship with um 
with winter. I love winter because my allergies finally start to calm down after, you know, fall is over. Because that fall is when my allergies are the worst. And, um, the cold does feel nice, especially for, like, headaches and stuff. Yeah, no bugs either. <laughs> plus, plus, if you get snow, you can make snow angels and stuff. However, as a per- as a small person, sort of, sort of small, I I'd say thin more accurately, I, I tend to get cold more easily, so, yeah, that doesn't really help me. <laughs> That's what I mean by love-hate relationship. I love many aspects about winter, but I hate the fact that I, uh, it, it just, you know. I get cold even more easily than before. You used to work in a place that really tested your resistance to temperatures. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna also drink some tea and go to bed. Honestly, that sounds like a nice plan. Speaking of which, I haven't had tea in a while. I do like my tea. Like, drinking it every now and then. But, um... I've mostly had juice, water, and a little bit of pop as of late. I would like some tea. I like hot tea most of the time, but I don't mind drinking it cold. I don't mind drinking it warm, uh, like room temperature. I'm not picky about that. It just depends on what I'm in the mood for, really. Seventeen Celsius, seventeen degrees Celsius actually does sound kind of nice. Doesn't sound too hot or too cold. I. I don't know why, but, like, here in the U.S., like, half the time, people like to blast the A.C. And, and you can imagine how much I cry on the inside as a person who gets cold easily. <laughs> uh, yeah, I bet that is kind of nice to work with, though. <laughs> That picture at Phantom Star Skiff. Yeah, to clean the machines of dirt, I'd blow it outside the place that you see. Oh. So I had to leave to the garage, which was 40 to 45 degrees Celsius? Dude, that is way too hot. Like, I may usually speak in freedom units, but, like, it does not take, it, like, it, it, can, it can take even, like, half a brain, for someone with, like, half a brain to understand how hot that is. Do it, you did it back and forth five or six times a day? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How'd you not suffer from heat stroke? The pest is to come? Oh no. <laughs> I do not pity you. Or envy you. Wait, pity you? I mean, I- I mean, I don't envy you! Wow, I- I'm so sorry, I just- <laughs> I- I- I struggle with words sometimes. I do pity you. I do not envy you. <laughs> You had to clean a big machine? 12 pockets for money separation. The thing is big. Oh, okay. That sounds like absolute fun. Huh. Uh. Tell you what though, I remember something that actually tested my endurance was like 90 degrees Fahrenheit weather, no cloud coverage, no breeze, 
And I, 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 you know, I was, I was band kid, so it was marching season when I had to do that. It was like my sophomore year. And wow, it was hot. Had I not eaten food and, and drank water periodically, I, I think I would have been toast. Hydrate or dihydrate. <laughs> Queen of Fen, gotta be Kimmy. Yeah. <laughs> Shoe shot, he sounds out. He sounds so apathetic. <laughs> Did I switch to a four day week? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I might have peeked there a little bit. Oh, I bet that was fun to deal with, having something blocking the plug to the air blower. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound too fun. You think you're sleepy, Sushong? Look at me. It's already dark outside. True, excitement does give you that boost of serotonin you need to be more awake. Lovely spotlight of the sun over your head cooking you. Oh no. <laughs> that sounds awful. And no cloud coverage either. Ah, uh, what a group this is. Took you an entire hour? Oh no. Well, at least you managed to get back into 17 degrees Celsius AC, so that's a plus. I bet you smushed your face up against the AC unit though. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, AC, my beloved. Oh, it's stinging your chest from the shock. Oh. Sound like someone I know. A certain celestial jade playing divination commission employee, perhaps? Divination commission? Celestial jade? Shouldn't they be doing divinations? Yeah, you're right, Sushong. They should be, but they're not. <laughs> At a certain undisclosed commission. It's really strange. When I arrived at work today, everyone seemed off. Their faces were pallid, expressions gloomy. And they had distance, distant, unfocused gaze moving slowly along. I curiously asked what happened, but no one said a word. The entire divination commission feels eerie, and it scared me to the point where I lost all interest in playing tiles. Hmm, I wonder who, who that was or is. What's even stranger is that I wanted to slip away when nobody was looking, but I ran into the Master Diviner. She didn't even ask about my attendance. She just told me, be late, as usual. Something is definitely going on in this certain commission. The name of which I'm not at liberty to say. <laughs> All rivers flow flow seaward yeah you're right you yourself mentioned master diviner already a certain disclo undisclosed commission haha -ha. <laughs> no their divination commission is not responsible for capturing ghosts Terran lords commission jurisdiction wait what ghosts interesting Something like late as usual. 
ritual on a public forum? Yeah, I wouldn't post that either. I'd take that to my grave. <laughs> Maybe a minute later, like another time when I moved on to a different job. <laughs> Honestly, good on you, Zero. Like, if you're generally not feeling that well at all, like you're you're feeling like legit ill from like from stuff like that. I I mean, you you gotta. I mean, you gotta take care of yourself, right? And it's good that you managed to uh, finish up what you did too, so that way you had less work left over. It sounds like you uh. You made the right decision on that. The description in this comment is really suspicious. It definitely sounds like heliobi activity to me. And if heliobi have managed to infiltrate the divination commission, that spells big trouble for the Lafu. No other car was parked there until you left. Huh. Contact Miss Chinchua and warn her not to go to work today. That's a good idea. We should send out a message, or people's curiosity will get the better of them. Uh, your your boss sounds nice. Like, is fought for well-being. That's actually nice, because every every job I was at in the past, like the management, I, I felt like I, they never really cared for me. First job I worked in retail, right? They decided to shove me as the greeter. Mind you, I'm not very well suited for being a greeter, and I would periodically ask, "Oh, hey, can you like move me to a different position, like you on the floor, cashier, like anything else, other than." greeter because I, I just couldn't you know it's just it didn't fit for me right and then next thing i know they turn around my hours get shortened not only that but they start hiring on like a whole bunch of people on cash cash registers i'm like i all this time I've been asking, hey, can you put me in this, like, different position? And, and they, they, they do that? Like, how's that supposed to make sense? Huh? Yeah, you already answered any questions you could receive when I worked in retail. Yeah. And, and so, I moved on. And, you know, that uh, food service worker job I mentioned, like, I used to, like, do food service in the hospital. Get this. Yeah, uh, they, they, they would work... All of us in dietary like a dog and do these mandates and if and if you didn't agree to the mandates you get written up and at one point I, I ended up getting a nerve injury in like one of my wrists slash hands I think it was my uh I think it was in my writing hand and when I went to tell my supervisor, she's like, oh, it's not an isolated incident. Sorry. You know, I ended up finding out after I moved on to a different job. That had I gone to the director of, you know, that oversee like, you know, a couple of departments, including mine. Mind you, the director was very nice. Like, I, I could have filed an incident report. Because that is, is a work-related injury. Like, I got that from pushing these heavy carts full of food around. So, yeah. I ended up spending the next several months in, in the coffee shop job. I was a Starbucks barista for uh, about a year, maybe. Uh, so, just, you know, something that could be a bit easier on my hands while my... Um, my nerve injury was healing up. Thankfully, it didn't turn out to be carpal tunnel, so I'm happy about that. And, um, well, 
the Starbucks was not corporate. It was in, uh, you know, like one of those convenience stores. Like, like here in the U.S., we have stuff like Walmart, Kroger's. Um, the Starbucks I worked at was in one of those. And the management was terrible. It has been terrible for years. And mind you, one of the last few straws that broke the camel's back was not only the fact that it was short. Um, <laughs> yes, you're dead for the cash register. Ah, you're doing fine. You know, they would, they would, um, it, like, it, it was shorthanded. No one wanted to work there, and honestly, I couldn't blame anyone. Not only that, but, like, one of the people I had to work with was starting to cr turn it into a hostile work environment. And that's, uh, like, even though I, like, went to, like, the steward, I went to management, nothing happened. Nothing! All three of these jobs, like, it, it felt like no one cared about me. No one. You know, if I'm gonna, like, I mean, I'm, I'm getting into another job here soon-ish. But, like, if I'm going to get a second job, is it so much to ask for a decent work environment with, like, some competent managers? Well, partially competent. Sorry. We, I mean, it'd be so too much to ask for a nice manager. DLC. The storytelling levels are in the Bioware and Squeenix level. Is that a good thing? I will say though, um, I've never played Hon Honkai Impact 3rd, but I've, I um, have consistently played uh, Genshin Impact for about a year or two. And this one for, I don't know when I, when did I start? I don't know. I played it for a while. And, um... This story is nice. You can't give Bioware credit for good writing anymore. Their story is that solid. Oh, okay. So when you said that their storytelling levels are in the Bioware and Squeenix level, you, you, a tie praise. Okay. You have a vendetta against referential humor. <laughs> Honestly, I think I like uh, Star Rail uh, just a little bit more. Reason being is that they're nicer to us with Stellar Jades. <laughs> like, it's so much easier to earn stuff to, you know, pull for characters in this game compared to Genshin, at least in my personal opinion. Look, references have their time and place. Yeah, true. I personally don't mind the referential humor. I, I personally don't mind it. In fact, I kind of like that a bit of sarcasm. It's like right up my alley because I, I tend to have like dry and sarcastic humor. <laughs> it, it Just a fair warning, sometimes I can be a little bit deadpan in the face when I make a joke. So sometimes my, my jokes may seem insulting even though they're, they're not really insults. <laughs> With the ch with the turtles, it's rowdy. Oh boy! <laughs> Notification sent. I guess now we should go to the divination commission and see what's going on. Mm. But let's talk to Cirrus again first. Ah, uh, do we really have to talk to Cirrus? Come on! I hate that that Heliobus. The Pokemon event master pens. Uh, you can see that since Giovanni is the leader. Giovanni Giorgio! <laughs> they couldn't come up with something more original? <laughs>
Lee has her own category? What is it, war criminal? <laughs> Monster nightmares. What is going on here? Oh, so you're the one who's doing the opera stuff. Uh, no, please don't. I found a ghost. I found a ghost actor. Wedding wine. The hotel has a shining reference. The two girls. Wait, I actually saw that reference! Yeah, for a meme, huh? Yeah, it's actually a little bit unnerving. Unfortunately, when I tried watching The Shining with a, fr a friend of mine, I ended up passing out halfway through and missed the rest of it. <laughs> yeah, I, I just I just fell asleep in the middle of it. It put me to sleep. Usually movies don't put me to sleep. A Bloodborne side quest in the Bellabog. What's the name of the side quest? I, I know I've done a lot of the side quests, sir. Um... Okay, start off with the background of the story. Wedding Wine tells the story of a man seduced by Heliobus and their love story. Female lead is a charming but deadly Heliobus, luring men into marrying her before ravenously feasting on the groom's emotions on the wedding night. That sounds a bit morbid. Oh, I know what you mean now, Zero. Yeah, and if you bring it back to that window, you have the option to either lie to them or tell the truth. <laughs> I know what you mean now. It clicks. Yeah, it's in Rivet Town. I know what you mean. I actually did that one. Scariest thing about this story, actually, is the humans. There are several human characters in the story who knew that it is a Heliobus, but despite this, they still tried to use it as a tool to vanquish their own enemies. Of course, these people are all overpowered by the female lead in the end. In sense, it's a highly satisfying story. Sorry, Dreadwing. Souls Born games with any sort of happy ending. Preposterous! Yeah, we can't ever have happiness in a Souls Born game. <laughs> The scariest scene in Please tell me that. This is... 
heal you plus good at possess me or something. A human and Helia was singing until dawn breaks. When people come to visit the next day, all that remains is the withered husk of the husband's corpse. In devotion, my heart does yearn to be known by you, my love, in return. It's like playing any Yoko Taro game, expecting to see you unhappy. I'm assuming that's a very bleak game based on what you're telling me. Yeah, I got you, Dreadwing. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, do I even have an NSFW channel? I don't think I do. I tend to keep my stuff PG-13. Engineers having clang incidents. Huh. Let me go ahead and check. Oh, the Nier games. Speaking of which, another one of my friends is like a huge fan of Nier. And, and I dare say a shrimp for 2B. <laughs> he, he's a pretty chill guy though. But I will say that the music of Nier is pretty incredible. They know what they're doing. I think they like all of Nier, but I think Automata is up there for them. Like they're like they're like a fan of Nier, like period. In the case of space engineers, Clang incidents. Today we don't have a clang incident globally is the day that the game has zero players globally. <laughs> Great existential game to play, yeah. Actually, I think that's like how when I got introduced to um one of my buddies. Like my buddy Robbie Fall uh, raided somebody. And that's how I first met that person. Is when they were in the middle of playing near Automata. Yeah, I don't really have. Also, ha ha, she named Toopy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't have an NSFW channel, Dribbling. Sorry. You know, to be wrong. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> You're lucky that I I I, I am a uh, I am a pun appreciator. <laughs> Very clever, Yokotaro. <laughs> Candles flicker, <laughs> casting shadows on the wall. My bones the wick, my flesh the fragrances call. Sounds like a lovely poem. Robes fall away, revealing my desire. In hibiscus tent, our passions shall transpire. And night will embrace as one so tight. Come tomorrow, you'll take your flight. It's actually beautiful. Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me! I need, I need repetition. My ADHD brain and and processing is like a, a 2008 Lenovo la laptop. It takes extra processing power and it takes longer to process it. I need stuff repeated for me, not because I supposedly didn't hear it. It's because I didn't process it. You know, in one out, in one ear out the other. Yeah, I, I su seriously suspect I have like a proce like audio processing disorder or something. Near Automata is much more deep than that. Yeah, most bosses or characters you encounter through the game are named after philosophers. I'm not sure if I've ever heard of that, but like I believe you. <laughs>
This is so beautiful. Assignments. Ah, it's time to do that. Since I have so much stuff of, like, everything else, I just tend to do these main, main three. Like, look how much extinguished cores I have. 1,246. 1,711. Some of them are two. I, I recently used these a bit more, so that's why it's a bit low compared to the others. 1,123. Hi, JMD. How's everyone doing? I mean, I'm doing okay today. We're just kind of chilling and playing some Honkai Star Rail. And just chatting and stuff. Six hundred twenty-six. Seven hundred forty-four. I know I'm being a dead horse at this rate, but look. I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> I don't really need much more, to be honest. What are these used for in any ways? Extract of medicinal herbs in human high auspicious crops. Like, I've been collecting these things, but I'm like, what am I using them for? Eh, I guess I could have more protein rice even though I have 348. Who cares? <laughs> Let's go ahead and claim that. Let's have a look at the travel log. I'm sure there's stuff I need to claim. 50 Stellar Jade. Let's have a look. Wait. I could do this very easily. <laughs> I don't want to waste all my credits though. Oh wait, I can just continue to do it. It's okay. No, I don't want to superimpose. Wait, what does this thing do anyways? Increases war's max HP by 9%. When the war uses skill, increases outgoing healing by 19% lasting two turns. That's not bad. Dean Paul, Sars... Uh, I'm probably gonna butcher these names. Simone de Beauvoir, uh, <laughs> Pascal. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I I'm just gonna give up on the pronunciation. I need to do percipient. Okay, shut up. Claimable rewards. Subscription plan. Okay. Rokotaro is one of those few madmen who actually knows how to use the media of gaming to its fullest alongside Hideo Kojima. Oh. Honestly, I respect that. I kind of want to... Try and challenge this. Taro is also very unapologetic about two pieces. <laughs> yeah, true. I kind of have a love hate relationship with two piece design. Like I I'm more on the conservative side with my uh, with my character design um, preferences. Better be unapologetic than flaunting some deeper meaning behind it. 
Eh, yeah. But yeah, um, I'm more of um, a less showy type of person. Like, I, I like more modest clothing, I guess. But still having some coolness factor to it, you know? She's like that because they wanted her to be like that. That's it. <laughs> yeah. True. And I accept the fact that some people will like the design. Some people will just like the design. Like Quiet from Metal Gear, Gear Solid 5. I haven't played much. I haven't really played any Metal Gear Solid. I know the VTuber Palmu Rainpuff is crazy about it though. But yeah, I never personally played it. Played any of Metal Gear Solid games. Try doing this without letting them obtain fiend fire. Let's take out fire trailblazer. Why is like a plant person who needs to breathe through his skin? That's why she wears a bikini in battle, dude. Despite throwing in a cutscene that she can work. Just fine in full soldier gear. <laughs> uh. I mean, I could take Sampo for a whirl. Who else would be good here? I don't know, we can try this team comp first. You are not having that fiend fire. I gotta be like extra uh, conscientious about the turn order. Yoko Taro's is just, uh, I like pretty girls. And there's not much <laughs> more meaningful to that. The only thing with deeper, deep meaning in TV design and in most androids as a game is the blindfold. Yeah, true. I've noticed that as a consistency. I've got to time this properly. It's very spoiler heavy, heavy territory though, so you have to shield. Fair enough, dude. go managed to get it i just needed to switch out one character for sampo <laughs> okay now give me my rewards yeah more stellar jade yeah near automata is like a masterpiece to you <laughs> in especially in your definition too fair enough like I may not have played any Nier games and only like watched a bit, but I can already tell that um, Automata is like masterfully cra crafted. Like, and I say that from like an artist standpoint.
So yeah, I I agree with you there. Extremely well written from a story perspective. Yeah. And as a person who likes good story, I am happy about that. You lost the flame to produce art, but you still... You still have that keen eye for detail? Noise. Once an artist, always an artist. I still, um... I have that itch to create. It's like a, it's a nice source of comfort for me. <laughs> All right, let's get this over with. You imprison Luxi in the Matrix, and I heard the cries of other Heliobi longing to break free. Have we seen the Ten Lords Commission as everything under? Just a came, <laughs> came to vent some anger. <laughs> It's a zero. Ah, uh, you're killing me, man. <laughs> you know, if you can accept me with an open heart, I can take his place and help you. No, thanks. You. If you were, you'd have devoured us without hesitation. Am I right, Sirius? Then have it your way. I'll destroy Chain Yu and Pawns here and now. <laughs> Details, they are important. True. Yeah, yeah, shut up already. Darius, I think you've gotten a little bit cuckoo. <laughs> Switch to Sela from basic to skill and back to basic. Yeah, true. I I tend to switch between the two. There we go. The fiend fire is now ours. All he needs a basic there. Can use the that on that. I'm on guard. What, Sela? Yeah, Sela is cool. Although is I have I've heard Zela. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Zero. Are you a shrimp for Sela? <laughs> Ask your question. Are you interested in this character? <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Promise. Not her in particular, but you do love good animation. <laughs> Me too. Especially the ones that have impact frames. <laughs> Did you know that Kafka has impact frames on her alt? Yeah, she does. I forget who else does. Is 
Sarah, shut up. The shapeless. When we come together to harmonize and observe, destiny is clear and vivid as firelight cast in the darkness. Oh, in warfare, nothing is more important than being able to predict your opponent's movements. Among the fragments of Ignimar, Caroloom was in charge of knowing the past and predicting the future. In charge of knowing the past and predicting the future. Interesting. Not the biggest fan of Kafka. First of all, design wise, you're getting boisterous. <laughs> Drives you crazy, and I'm assuming not a good way. Had a premonition of failure, but Ignamar ignored their warnings. It looks like we have a clear target this time. Let's get going. I may not have the same predictive power as Kara Room, little fox girl. One thing I do know is that sooner or later you will pay for, for grenade attack. Fair enough. Huh. Time will tell. Your grenade attack is a bit annoying. Oh, it's the chess ghost. <laughs> you feckless, insidious little to obtain victory through such conniving. Oh, you don't seem to have used any dastardly tricks to win. However, I must avenge myself of the shame of defeat today. You, dare you accept my duel? But what you're doing can't really be called chess. <laughs> What's it to you? Make your chess move. Let's see how long your mouth stays smart. Silence. Spare me your words and show me your skill. I mean, okay. <laughs> ah! Okay, how many moves do I have to work with? Three. So I move forward. One, two, three. That should be enough. There we go. Oh, okay, interesting. Hmm, your skill is acceptable. Nothing comparable to mine, of course. Got anything harder? No. Keen eye for that type of thing? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. You did mention it previously. Oh, oops. Were you once a professional artist? Get off my lawn, jerk! I'm on guard. So you are afraid of me. Ah! Debuff dispelled, or buff dispelled. Get wrecked, son. Hello. Yes, let's attack discriminate indiscriminately. Oh, I didn't dispel the buff. <laughs> buff dispelled. Target died. <laughs> yeah. He worked its magic. Nice. I'm assuming you're planning on getting some sleep now. Which is honestly fair. Happy, happy to have you here, Zero. It's nice seeing you. 
Thanks for hanging out, by the way. It's kind of nice to talk about just, like, random stuff and chill. Yeah, <laughs> ciao. Happy lurking! Yeah, jerping. <laughs> I, I, have a, I have a light cone on Sela that has a certain uh, percent chance of dispelling a buff on an enemy. So, I mean, that's the main thing about it that I like. And it also increases her crit rate a bit. So, I, I don't necessarily have cruising on an interstellar sea on her. I think I have that on Topaz. But honestly, I like this, uh, I like the light cone I have on Zila. It, it worked out perfectly. And it helps me deal with a lot of different enemies, to be honest, because I don't really run a dedicated buff dispeller, like, you know, Pela. So, uh, Sela kind of does it for me. Yeah, it technically dispels buffs on the enemy. It works out. <laughs> Fair enough, ho ho. Um, do we tell her or? Well, anyway, there's a dangerous situation at the divination commission at the moment, so just don't go in there. That Rock'em Sock'em robots event. <laughs> oh, a few weeks ago. Good idea. With working conditions like these, I wouldn't be able to concentrate anyway. I heard from Alway that the Artisanship Commission is also experiencing strange phenomena. The Artisan Commission too? Apprentices have started babbling nonsensically. It's kind of scary. Of course, it could just be a side effect of being denied graduation. Yeah, three debusted enemy mech, head destroyed, pilot killed, pilot <laughs> incapacitated. Ah. Sounds like you went a bit of overkill. <laughs> In the best way possible. In that case, Miss Jingtre, could you stand guard here for us while we investigate? It doesn't seem like a good idea to just stand here under such dangerous circumstances, does it? Oh, well, I mean, she kind of has a point, but... Your mech punched the enemy mech through the face. <laughs> Sound, son! I can get away with slacking off, but the master diviner won't tolerate complete abandonment of my post. Besides, you guys need someone familiar with the divination commission to show you the way, right? Then let's go. Ah, lovely. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's fine, ho ho. Hey, I was trying to punch that. Is everyone okay? There is only one way. Divination commissioner diviner. Divination is meaningless. How did the matrix of prescience become like this? Look how messed up this is. Yeesh. Uh, yeah, sorry, Chinchua. Starfire essence that can transform itself. Enjoys manipulating the dreams and desires of mortals. You mean the Master Diviner is being controlled by something like that? Yes, Chinchua. How can we snap her out of it? Uh, we could try ringing the harmonic chime. If we're close enough, we should be able to enter the Heliobus's illusion. <sighs> okay, here we go. Silence. Idle chatter is not permitted in the divination commission. Master Diviner, you're awake. Or perhaps we should call you Caroloom. It doesn't matter what you call me. I 
and the master of the divination commission. Yeah, she definitely sounds possessed. The current divination has reached a delicate stage, and no one is permitted to disturb it. Not even a judge of the Ten Lords Commission or a guest from the Astral Express. Oh, so you've heard of me. Hi. Ching Chui, I have grown weary of your insubordination. Are you the one who brought these outsiders into the commission? Have you turned a deaf ear to all the rules I've laid down? Even she's not that harsh. You are here. Oh. Okay. Now we're down one person. A great idea. What? <laughs> My days here really have been unproductive, loafing around outside and playing celestial jade, all while taking a divination commission salary. It's living high on public expense. <laughs> Eh. I would call it wasting my life away. Thank you, Master Diviner, for giving me the push I needed. Since you feel that my skills could be put to better use, I'll... but before I leave, I have to help these guests take care of some trouble here at the commission. If I don't, people will think I was fired because of cowardice in the face of danger. Yeah. <laughs> she wants a safe face. Clouding my mind? From now on, I will dedicate myself to defining the predetermined futures of the Sea and Joe Alliance. And will make these futures known to the world so that all can live. <laughs> You're fired. Thanks for the unemployment, yeah. I know what you want to say. I think you've gone off the deep end. I draw the line there. Well, the rise and fall of the tides are dictated by the fire trigram and the water trigram. You Did your divination predict this right before slapping her? You have no hope <laughs> of defeating me. <laughs> your anger is meaningless. Anger cannot change that which is already ordained by destiny. All offense, no defense. Is that your strategy? Your attack won't land on me. Only on these innocent peasants. Lance ablaze. Ah! It's mine now, jerk! Yeah, don't mess, don't mess with this. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. 
Oh, I just realized I shouldn't have used my burst there. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's all good. <laughs> Yeah, we did it. We caught them unaware. Try your best to wake her up. How am I supposed to wake her up? Okay, sounds good to me. Misery maze, crawl him. Sure, let's do this. <laughs> what is this? A maze. Place, what the divination commission calls the path ladder. It's a sandbox game for the diviners to simulate future paths and exercise our minds. But why did the master diviner bring us here? That's right. Now listen. If you place an ingenium in this little maze and give it a command, it will find its way to the exit precisely as it was commanded to do so. Are humans not the same as they navigate the path of destiny set before them? But you're probably thinking, humans are not machines. There is more than one path in the universe. Ugh, I'm getting mocked constantly. Yes, machines we are. Complex, sophisticated, but machines. I'm getting mocked by this stupid heliobus. Like the ingenium in this maze. We have no options to speak of. We can only navigate one path. The one that takes us to our destination. Let's begin. Lead the Ingenium to the exit. Show me how many choices Destiny gives you. Can I just break the Ingenium out of the maze? It feels like we're dancing to the Heliobus's tune. It, we are, quite frankly. Excuse me, I'm eating more of my soup. Begin. Lead the Ingenium to the exit. Show me how many choices Destiny gives you. Make sure you're paying attention. Uh, yeah, I think that's the correct one. There you go. Well done. Who said well done? We did it. Well done. Your choices are as the Omnisia foresaw them. You should know that there was only... It's... Just yes. a game. For a puzzle that was designed from the start, choosing any other path would be a pointless mistake. But the universe isn't someone's game, and no one is designing puzzles for us to solve. The universe doesn't have a single answer. We can do anything we want while we're in it. Even if it's the same one every day, I can hide in the library and read a book. Or find someone to play Celestial Jade with. And that's freedom. He really has a go with the flow sort of thing. Sign of a true scholar. A 
the diviner of the divination commission after all. Dushong, <laughs> snap out of it. A slacker helio bus is getting into your head. <laughs> For you, life may have a seemingly infinite number of choices. That is because you're. <sighs> That's the most divinery thing you've said so far. As the master diviner of the La Fu, I have a heavy responsibility. I must comb through the complex threads of destiny day after day, all for the preservation of this giant ship. Uh, yeah, he's yeah, okay. But lead to an abyss of despair. Then there are small trails that plunge deep into unimaginable darkness. I realize that we have no real choices. There is only one path to follow, only one way to the optimal solution. Okay. Ashes and bitterness. There is only. What do we do? I don't. I have a proposal. Why don't we try a more advanced sandbox? However long you want to play this game, and <gasps> missing track. Use your free will to guide the engine. More advanced sandbox. Let's but with multiple begin. solutions. All right, what are we dealing with? This is more advanced. Ha. Ah, we've got five commands to work with. We need to get it here. I'm thinking... We have it go this way, then have it go back... No. We need it to hit this. Have it go this way, go across, then this. I think that's how it is. Yeah, there we go. It, it really helps when you can visualize the path. I'm sure the master diviner would say destiny only has one path. Actually, I don't think I agree. Master diviner, let's reset the sandbox and give it another go, shall we? Again? Do it all over again exactly as it was. <laughs> I see what you're thinking, Ching Chue. You're an inter- Ching Chue? I've been thinking through the calculations for this puzzle. This maze was designed no. by Heirloom. It's no use. There aren't any No, Ching Chua is definitely up to something. As long as we're playing this so-called game of destiny, we can't win. No, but there's a second choice. There will oh, Mr. Trailblazer. Quick. I didn't mean like that. <laughs> Another solution to this sandbox. Listen to my idea. Okay. It's gonna help, right? Miss Chingtra, I don't know how you're planning to solve the puzzle, but I'll support this squad to the end. Count me in. I, if we can help, I'm in. Yeah, Chingtra is definitely up to something. Two people for my plan to work. Okay. What are we doing exactly? Right about that spot over there. Oh, by making a dip making the solution ourselves. Okay. Stay put. Next, Judge Hoho, you stand on the other side of the room. And stop shaking. <laughs> Twenty years ago, I pronounced these names greatly differently compared to now. Interesting. And now the second path appears. Interesting. Let's begin. So now we've got two extra blocks to play with. I think we go up. To the right, up, and then this way. Aha! This is the other 
the solution. The alternative choice. I created a new solution. Master Diviner, you're not the only one who can design a puzzle. And I don't tread the path of destiny alone. <laughs> Interesting. You that by calling on your computer, you're just playing with semantics. I could weave a thousand routes for you, but they lead to the same destination. So, what significance is there in having a choice? You don't even understand what Ching Chua is saying. Creatures like you don't understand humans. The universe is like jade tiles on a game table. When the tiles are shuffled, the outcome is already predetermined. Which tiles can be played? Which tiles are left over? What kind of hand the person next to you is trying to make? All of these can be determined through calculations. But if everything is just a calculation, the game loses its flavor. Uh-huh. And where are you going with this line of logic? <laughs> Randomness and adaptability. Ambushing your opponent. Twists and turns. The balance of the elements. It's a mix of calculations, unknowns, and loss of complete control that makes Celestial Jade the kind of game it is. And those are the same things that give life its color and vibrance. Do my choices at the game table mean nothing if I have a sure loss in front of me? No. The choices are what make the game meaningful in the first place. Even if I lose, I'll still make choices to lighten the loss. Just like the Master Diviner is making choices for her own agenda. You were right when you said that as Master Diviner, you must comb through the complex threads of destiny day after day. All for the preservation of this giant ship. True. In this vast universe, a game where there are only losers. Our Master Diviner is making endless choices. Fighting against the odds just so the lost will can travel safely for another day. In my book, she's the best player there is. Aww. Why would someone as talented as the Master Diviner go through the trouble of making endless choices if the end result is predetermined? Chilean, True. You cannot fathom the joys of humanity. You are imprisoned by the illusion of destiny, unable to free yourself. And you want everyone who peeks into the future to suffer the same pain as you. You don't Oof. understand humans at all. Oh, ho, ho, ho. gang roasted by the lazy worker. <laughs> Don't let them trick you, Fuxuan. Don't push me away. Don't let her words fool you. Now. Kiraloom, release the master diviner. Here we go, round two. Dude, if one solution doesn't work, then make another one. Ah, lovely. This is gonna hurt. Ah, there we go. I got my skill points back. What a headache. Disappear among the sea. Yeah, let's get him. Illusions of the past. Really? Wait, for Genshin. Wait, but don't they usually give us the illusion of choice? And the most entertaining thing is Paimon is emergency food. Okay, there that that's there's no surprise on that one. There really isn't. Yeah. What am I going for here? Oh 
one now. In the name of Lenda. Oh no. I should have waited with the... Uh... Can I cancel? Is there a way to cancel? I can't cancel. Same 525 split with emergency food is dominant answer. Honestly, I'm not surprised there. I mean, seriously. It's like the most hilarious joke that is still a joke to this day. <laughs> That whole interaction chain is an anime reference. Really? Which one? Uh, which, which, which anime is referenced? Okay, we got 20k of entanglement damage. Excel Saga. Can't say I've heard that one. Okay, let's not be too hasty here. Okay, let's see if we can time this so we can steal the fiend fire. Ow! Ah! <laughs> There we go. There we go. We got him. Oh, I got an achievement too. I didn't get to see what the name of it was though. So apathetic, my dude. I foresee what happens next. You're going to imprison me. Changewe. Thanks to you, the Divination Commission is safe again. Yeah, you hear that, Ching Chui? You're actually getting praised. <laughs> By the way, while you were possessed, you fired me from the commission. So that counts, right? No, I don't think it counts. With all the years I've spent in the divination commission, I'll be able to get a great severance package. And I already planned what to do with all the money. A gaming parlor. That does sound fun. Hire a couple of workers to run it, and to spend the rest of my days living off the profits. I'll have started a new life without having lifted a finger. <laughs> well, what's up, Dreadwing? What's up? Are there two Ching Chues? Uh, I see. <clears throat> what a pity. I don't recall anything I may or may not have said while possessed by the Helia. Uh, in any case, Ching Chue, why are you still here? Shouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> she she's deflecting a bit. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Blackjack and what? Of course I can. After all, there are always choices in life. You 
taught me that. <sighs> I can't convince real you, let alone possess you. Master Diviner, you should get some rest. I'm gonna go take a br I mean, get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> My actions today brought great shame on the divination commission. You are possessed, so cut yourself a little slack. Don't worry, Ching was the only witness in the commission. <laughs> You didn't even smile when you said haha, just kidding. Heliobi are good at finding people's weaknesses and exploiting them. Everyone has some kind of weakness. You're not to blame. That's right. You were just a victim of the Heliobus' trickery, Divinity. No need to blame yourself. True. I must express my sincere gratitude to all of you for your help. Apologies, but the Divination Commission is in disarray at the moment. I must return and set things in order. I'm afraid I cannot see you off in person. It's fine. There's something we need to ask you. What is it? Of who the details of your operation, okay. Mm. Well, she is trustworthy, so. Diviner gets possessed wouldn't make for a good headline. She is trustworthy, so I, I think we can get away with telling her the details. I don't care how you spin the story, so long as you leave my name and identity out of it. Okay. That works. Uh, wrong button. There we go. <laughs> Major update of divination algorithm causes massive workload. Construction blunder causes total divination cut down. Sh cut down? Shut down. I have many things to attend to. Please allow me to save my thanks for another day. Okay. We won't delay you any longer. We need to go to Fixtral Garden and seal Carolum away. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that, and I think we'll go ahead and call it a night. I think I have had a decent amount of fun, and it's almost, like, what, 19 minutes till 3 hour mark? Plus, I'm starting to feel a little bit tired. Where'd you come from? I've been browsing through some of the stories on Ghostly Grove myself. They make for good reading. Uh, okay. As the saying goes, serious divination concerns serious matters. It is inevitable that someone performing divination day in and day out for the Sienjo would acquire inner demons, and Heliobus can take advantage of them. True. Fortunately, with your help, Fu Shren prevailed over her intrusion. He did. What do you think about it? Listening to storytellers and watching immersion. Sometimes. In both cases, tales have a predetermined ending. But you shouldn't let that stop you from enjoying them, should you? Well, I suppose you have a point. The same is true of life. Whether the end is predestined. Okay, I love how he put that. That, that you couldn't have said it better, my dude. Miss Hanya is waiting for you by the suppression towers.
<laughs> You're cute. <clears throat> no, 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 don't give me that look. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and call it a night. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you guys for stopping in as well as lurking. Zero, I, I thank you for saying hi. No, drive me now! <laughs> Listen, I just think he's a bit cute, okay? I'm a Jepard stan. <laughs> he's my favorite character in this game. I'm allowed to admi admire him a little bit. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you have characters that you admire. Team bed breaker. What? Okay. Uh, <laughs> interesting. Thanks for joining, Dreadwing. Question mark. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get to the stream ending screen before I suffer more from your wrath. <laughs> 